See, they used to make those in the coppers in the corner of the of the scullery, as they called them in those days, um, by the sink, because nobody had hot water, and they all were, they all had a, a big big copper with a a copper bottom like a bath in the mop, and they lit a fire underneath it and they boiled it up. Well, Mondays was wash day, so they didn't make them wash day, but they made them on Tuesday. They lit the fire again Tuesday, and they made them, well, they could make them a foot long because they were big things. You could sit in these coppers like a bath. I mean, I had to make these in little saucepans, so they get squashed up, you know. And um, they used to make them in in these, these coppers, and, and my granny used to make two or three at a time, and take them out and they ate them all the week. They, they weren't farmers, they didn't do it, but everybody used to eat them. I mean, they originated from their farm hands going in the, in the fields with them. My, my dad told me, I didn't ever see the photograph, but he said that my granddad had a photograph of four um, farm labourers sitting on a bench outside the Half Moon pub in Pepperstock, which is now derelict, but still there, but it's derelict, and they were sitting on the bench and they was holding those like rifles up here and cutting them as it went down like that. I didn't see the photograph, but he told me, he said, your granddad's got a photograph of them sitting up there having their lunch with these things on the shoulder like that. Yeah. That's how big they were. I mean, that's a baby one. I only made that because I had spare stuff there. <laughs> and... Uh, that's why they've got as small as that, apart from the fact that nobody really wants a foot long thing. If you made them a tone for, say, two of you or yeah. three in the family, nobody wants a foot long no. bed for cheer clang, do they? I suppose that's because like, they would have been quite hungry, wouldn't they? It would have been quite labour intensive work, whereas oh, now, yeah. sort of sitting at a desk, could we yeah. <laughs> be able to manage yeah. all of that? <clears throat> for a but, and also, it? these are, these are, these are multi purpose things because you can eat them like that, cold. Which are very nice if they if, if they're cold. If you like them, I mean, you probably won't even like them. But um, you can have them cold like that. You can have them hot. When they come out of the pan, you know, you could take them out, set them and give cold. You could take them out and slice them and put gravy on them. But the best part of all is that you can fry them. All right. And if you have a nice slice of bacon and onion dumpling with your bacon and eggs in the morning, <laughs> oh, you've never tasted anything like it. Your mum fried them, didn't she? Oh, yeah, my, my, my mother did because she, I use self-raising flour mm -hmm. and that's what most people do nowadays, but years ago they made them with plain flour and this crust was hard, wasn't it? Mm. It was leathery, this crust, mm. when you made them with... Plain flour. Yeah. It was too hard for us, we, we, we liked it right. a bit, so, so we make them with, with self-raising flour, but they was, you could handle them better when they was hard because yeah. they was, you know, stronger. But they were beautiful fried. Mm. Lovely. So you can do three things with those. Yeah. You can't do nothing with them sausage roll things, only you eat them. And yeah. there's not much to eat. Yeah. 